In this video series, we are going to create a switch by using the headless UI. So first we go to next we create a project with next.js and then we type the project name learn headless UI switch. Then we create a project by using next.js and then we type the project name learn headless switch and then we go to the project by typing cd learn headless switch and then we type hook dot and then we go to install the tailwind css so we go to the project we already entered the project so we copy this and then generate both the tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js and if we already have the tailwind.config.js we can copy this and go to here and replace this file and then we also have to add the global.css so we copy this and go to global.css and add the here we paste to the globals.css so now we already has the tailwind css and now we can go to the index page and then we remove all of this and then we add the style, class name is equal to bg green 300 and then height of screen and then we type young dev to open the development server so now we can see the whole screen is light screen because we have add this style and then we can remove all of this import because it no longer use and at the root folder we create another folder called components and then if you look back to the documentations we can see there is my toggle my toggle components so we go to here and add a new file and type my toggle.js and then actually we can copy this code so we copy and then go to here and we replace the name is my toggle and then now we also have to in install the headless UI package so we should go back to copy this one and then we stop the server again and install the package now we go to type young dev again to open the development server and go to the local host and I have to import the toggles so we go to here and type my toggle now you can see it has import from the components folder now you can see it has the toggle buttons and now to demonstrate that it work is we can see we can go to I think we can go to here and make the paddings of 16 so it should have some space now we go to here and add another div and then we can type if this is enabled then we type enable otherwise this is disable now you can see this word and you can click on this and you can now see this is enabled 
and now if you click on the other side it will has disabled so now this is how to create a switch and you can see this if this is enabled the color actually this is this color will be darker and if this is not it will have a lighter green colors so if you click on this this is darker if this is disabled this will be a lighter colors so now this enable the transitions and you can see we we can set these transition positions and we can also have other settings and we will talk about this later now we already has the switch so we can turn on and turn off the task so you can see the enabled and disabled and now we are going to add the label to the switch because you can see we do not have any label to see what this is so we have to add the label and if we refer to the documentations we can see it has to return the switch dot group so we back to here and and then we use the switch dot group to wrap the switch so before the end of the div we add the switch dot group and then we add the switch dot label so let's see what happened and we have to add the div to to uh, wrap the wrap the switch and also the switch label so we copy this and back to here and before the end of the the switch group I think this is better if this is in column now we can see the enable notifications and we can see the disabled enabled and now you can see we can click on the label and it also can turn on and turn off so according to the documentation it said that if you do not want the people to enable and disable something when clicking on the label you can add the word passive to the label so we copy this page passive and go to the labeled and add this props this is the passive props and now if we click on this it will not turn on and turn or turn off the uh, button the switch so this is how to use the label for the transitions we can also adjust the, the position of the buttons for example we can type 36 and then if we click on this it will go to very far away and if you click on here it will back to the normal and we can also adjust the colors for example if we adjust this to red colors now you can see it will become dark red and light red and of course we can also adjust the durations for example if we make this one second now you can see it will slowly go to the right and if we back to click on this it will back to the original position slowly and of course this is not very make sense so we can adjust this to original positions uh, for example this would be 9 and the others and you can for example 400 now this is much better and we can we also adjust the color 